chaps. Welcome along. I'm feeling a little fresh, considering I drank quite a lot of beer last night at the uh, Hucknall Beer Festival. Excuse me, where indeed we came absolutely freaking nowhere. <laughs> Which was uh, a surprise to me, but then when I tasted the beers that had won, um, I kind of realised why they were all, what I'd say, very traditional. Very traditional star beers. Um, and of course, the vacant gesture and the like. Well, they're eccentric, aren't they? So I think we fare better at the Seabra Awards than the camera ones. But never mind, we'll get back in it next year. Apparently they're getting a lot more youth involved. So maybe their palate is a little bit more to my taste rather than uh, some of the older chaps who were there. So let's brush over that one briefly and uh, talk about what we're doing today. So today's task is to make a staircase to get us up on top of the cold room. Never made a staircase before, but that's not gonna stop us, is it? So in front of me, I've got two pieces of uh, four by two, and because uh, I don't have any uh, pieces of timber wide enough to make a stringer, and the stringer is the two diagonal uprights on a staircase betwixt where the treads will go. So I'm putting two of these uh, four by twos together like this here. You've just seen me screwing these little pieces this is going to be a functional not an ornate staircase we're not going to rebate the timber to insert the treads as is the case on the inherited staircase over there no no we're just going to a twix a fix if you like uh, these pieces of scrap basically what they are to the stringer that we've made and uh, that'll hold the two pieces of timber together on the stringer and also function as somewhere for our treads to go like that for, across to the other stringer so plan is to make life easier the staircase is going to be at a 45 degree angle i could do it at 40 i think that one's at 42 degrees 45 will be fine because I can just whack the speed square on and draw a 45 degree line. I know it's not a big deal if I want to draw, you know, uh, a 42 degree line. I can just come round to 42 degrees and there, there's my 42 degree line, you know, with the speed square, that's how she works, she works, see. But not today. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, for speed and ease, do this staircase at 45 degrees. Uh, so we've got two of these to put together, and then I'm gonna have to dig out some timber for the treads. I don't know what to use, but I do have some scaffolding board. So we might be using scaffolding board for the treadage. We shall see. Anyway, the staircase itself is going to go over here. So you'll see behind moi, we have a gap between the wall and the top of the uh, mezzanine, if you like. And that's there because we've got the electricity board just at the back there. And I didn't want to build in front of that. I didn't want to put the cold room in front of that for obvious reasons. So if we put the staircase up here, the lecky board will be under the stairs. Perfect place for it, really. Apart from if I electrocute myself and end up on the floor, maybe no one will find me when I'm under the stairs. Dead. Let's hope that doesn't happen then. So yeah, I'm gonna turn the radio back on and I'm gonna to put together these two stringers.
world. And that's the first one on. The first stringer. I did watch a YouTube video, I can't remember what it was, uh, about putting these staircases up and they did advise you if you can screw one side to it to a frame, one side of it to a frame, that's the best course of action. So we've got this bad boy screwed directly. It's going to be solid. It's also acting as a brace for the wall, funnily enough. So we'll just pop these few more screws in. So now what I have to do is build the landing up at the top of here. So at the top of this staircase, if you like, we're gonna put a landing up there. That's gonna come across here and that's gonna allow us to mount the other uh, stringer, which we've got here. So again, this one's also cut to length. But what you will notice is it's the reverse because obviously they're going to go like that side by side. So one's a mirror image of the other one. Then we're going to obviously just drag it across and we'll have treads in between. I think it's going to look grand. So I'm going to put this on the floor here, measure up. Get some timber, measure, <laughs> measure up, get some timber, cut it to the right size and build the little landing up there for us to go up said stairs. I think we'll get some treads on today before I go to the pub. Because it's Friday, I am going to the frigging pub. Right, let's play the song that I think everyone knows you for. So I've been blitzing it. Craig's coming up though in a minute and we're gonna bugger off to the pub, so. I'll show you what I've done. This, oh my God. This is the case thus far. So we've got both of the stringers up and the landing is made. Now what I haven't done, I've got the timber for it, but what I haven't done is cut a support for here. So I'm hoping that because these two landing braces here run two meters across to the next uh, stud wall in there, I'm hoping that'll cantilever out just enough to hold this. I mean, I can sort of swing on it. It doesn't want to go anywhere, but of course, if that collapses, it's just going to open the stairs up. So I might just, <sighs> I'm in mean, two minds, I'm not sure, because there's only a couple of screws holding that up. But it's only going to have me running up and down it, so it's not like I'm building it for a commercial a house or anything like that, is it? So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven treads to cut. We'll screw them on. And we'll have a functioning staircase. I've basically got ten minutes to finish it before Craig gets here. Whew. Better get on with it. Just like that, Craig's been, and we've got the staircase 90% finished. I'm pretty chuffed. Mm. Coconut shy PA. Sweet as a nut. Adding that extra coconut, uh, sorry, blitzing that coconut through the uh, blender really, really made a difference. So the staircase, whilst we're not quite complete yet, we have a functioning set of steps. So you can see that I'm able to run down them. I need to put a bit of a handrail up here to prevent anybody having an accident. And also some type of handrail, maybe a diagonal one starting about there. 
just to keep people from falling off but I want to be able to stand here and launch stuff up so it's not I might put a movable one actually that's just on a little pin I can pull out and push out the way the landing if you like ain't really going to get much action because of the vicinity of the box gutter uh, it's in the way but the good thing about that is I can gain access to the box gutter to work on it now because it's a mess so a little bit of movement here not enough I don't think to warrant an upright to support it if anything I could get a piece of timber and put another diagonal brace there or maybe there like that and, uh, and support it in that respect but literally if I stand here a bit of movement more than anything it's the timber moving backwards not down so once we've got a piece of ply on here that should prevent that movement as well but all round good job we've got some of the safety rails up on the front already or at least the uprights for them we'll be putting the rails on uh, early next week maybe Monday but as far as I'm concerned now boys and girls I'm off to the freaking pub better take my pint with me hadn't I therefore I'll say cheers and have a good weekend to you what's left of it and I'll see you tomorrow